Good day, somebody, and a very warm welcome to you to yet another exciting episode of Verongo Talk. My name is Michelle Navatisas, and we're finding ourselves right here, just close to the Pedal Gardens, at a municipality facility which has toilets, kiosks, a tower for lifeguards, and sea rescue in a shower as well so what the municipality is planning that they're planning that this will be a public recreational area where the citizens the Swakop Moon residents can come and enjoy so come on come all great things are about to happen so just stay patient we're going to be speaking to Eduardo Cotton who will be speaking about colorism and he'll be also de delivering an item for us so stay tuned we'll be right back after this Now time for our news. Apply for Sound Connects grant now. The Music in Africa Foundation, in partnership with Guta Institute, invites organizations operating in Southern Africa's creative and cultural industries to apply for grants from the Sound Connects Fund. The second call for grant application closes on 15 April. And this is made possible with funding from ACP EU Culture Program. The fund is aimed at accelerating development in Southern Africa while increasing the capacities of practitioners in the region. The fund supports projects across a wide range of disciplines, including but not limited to performing arts, visual arts, animation, film, gaming, photography, and videography. This year, applicants will be expected to speak to the theme of Sound Connects Us, music, and sound exist as the universal language that has connected people and communities globally for centuries. It is clear that in Southern Africa's vibrant cultural sector, sound is a significant force that connects and coexists within a wide range of art forms, in some instances playing a central role in fields such as dance, theater, video, gaming firm, fashion and related industry. Moving on to our second entertainment story, Battling Colorism. A Valves Bay based rapper Eduardo Wardo Cotton released a new single titled Brain Man with the aim of raising awareness about and putting an end to colorism. He dedicated the song which features R&B singer John Raymond, John Ray Cubido, to addressing the issue of discrimination based on skin color and intends to raise awareness on colorism with it. Colorism is defined as differential treatment based on skin color, especially favoritism toward those with a lighter skin tone and mistreatment or exclusion of those with a darker skin tone, typically among those of the same racial group or ethnicity. Brain Man was released on 21st February 2022 and is available on YouTube. I created this song solely from my point of view as being a so-called colored. Most of us can relate to always being labeled by others because of their skin, their skin color. This song rectifies what I am and who I am as a person, explained Eduardo. Stay tuned, we'll be right back after this. My name is Nico Nangolo. Joining me in conversation today is uh, Bardo, John Ray, and Grenis. How are you doing, guys? Oh, we're awesome, man. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. All good. Okay, can you just uh, give us a, so a short introduction about you? Uh, my name is So. My name is Eduardo Cotten. Um, I, do, I work at Renis. Um, I, uh, 
I do music actually, all kinds of music. Yeah. Yeah, my name is John Raymond Kibido, and I'm from Wolfish Bay. Yeah, just to put it out there. And I am the producer in this trio that you see here. Slay singer. Yeah, and I'm Grannis. My real name is Granville Alkers. I do melodic rap, melodic trap. Um, I've been in the game for quite some time, but I guess that 2022 was finally the, the year that people is going to recognize. Yeah, really recognize who I am and who we are as 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 a whole. Okay. Uh, can you tell me about uh, a little bit about uh, the new song uh, Brain Man and okay, the message so that it carries? Okay. So basically, uh, the song Brain Man. Um, it's basically a song based on stereotypes and uh, uh, racism. So, um, past few years, th these past few years, has actually been, well, how can I put it now, very, people have been acting very strangely towards me. I think it's because I'm getting older now, and I don't know if it makes sense, but it seems that if, how older you get, people treat you more ed edel-wise. So, what happened is, like, People they used to share, look at me strangely like this guy is gonna steal or this guy is gonna he's, he's probably doing drugs. I got that question like maybe a hundred times in one month maybe. So first of all, I don't do drugs. I smoke cigarette, but I don't do drugs. I just want to put it out there. Um, so yeah, I, this song has been on my mind for a long time because as a colored, most of most of our people coloreds, we are not being recognized as civilized people basically and uh, I can ex I can speak actually from experience I've been through it but um, it's not to downgrade any other culture or what uh, you get uh, people that stereo all of all the tribes in Namibia South Africa they get stereotyped under the certain group like for instance uh, and I hope I'm not offending anybody but for instance I know a friend of mine also is a Damra guy he's a very good friend of mine he said like oh these guys, they can just stop with these questions. Yeah, Tamaras only only drink. Uh, they can only step and what, what, what. And that is the mindset of us. We, we only think it like that. Why should we think it like that? Me, I don't have a problem being friends with any any other race other than the race that fit me. So that's why I decided to create the song. And who better to feature it was John Ray because me and this guy gave, yo, we came up back. Uh, Ages. You? Ages. <laughs> From the ice age. <laughs> so yeah, so basically that's why I came to him with the idea of uh, Brain Man. Basically just to end stereotype. People say that there's no more rac racism in apartheid is long time overdue and what, 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 what. But most of us, we are still facing that. People still look at us like, yo, this guy is a color. What will he steal? Yo, this guy is a color. This guy do drugs. So basically that's what the song is about. Is to end stereotypes and racism. Okay, you previously spoke about a music video. Can you just tell us more about that? <clears throat> um, yeah, so basically we're shooting it on Friday, the 17th. Yeah. Yeah, the 17th. Um, so what we are planning to do with Brain Man, we are trying to put in, uh, we're trying to promote a lot of small businesses, people that have businesses that are struggling to get promotion, you know, we're trying to do it a uh, free sponsorship type of thing. And uh, while we're on the topic of the music video, I just want to send a shout out to Mr. Grant Knowles. Um, he's, a, he's a good Samaritan, actually, that uh, sponsored us the music video. So while we are here, I just want to like to thank him a lot because he believed in us and we will not disappoint him. Yeah. Um, basically, the music video is going to be about uh, one guy that's having the awesome job, but he's not being recognized. He's, he's, he's been the employee of the month for for the time period, like, he's been employee of the month for a long time. And then just like this, another guy with connections comes in and he scoops the promotion. On the other hand, with uh, the guy that is looking for a job, he finds a, uh, he can go clean uh, the yard of someone and then once he's finished, he smokes a cigarette and the guy blames him for smoking drugs on, it, on the premises. So he decided not to pay him and told him that if he doesn't leave the premises, he will call the cops. 
Um, so yeah, basically then the, the scenery is just about what we are going through. We're going to express what actually, what it's like being a colored, like what we are going through. We're going to express it through the music video and um, it's going to be like a short film. It's actually going to be very epic and it's going to be awesome. <clears throat> Okay. Uh, now, in your own words, how would you describe the Namibian industry right now, the music industry? True. Um, being an artist, first of all, is very tough. Um, you get artists like very good artists, actually, phenomenal artists, but because they do, they are not well connected, they cannot expand the music. They are not well connected. They are not well funded. And uh, you know Namibians are like, ah, this guy is trying to be a celebrity. Wh why should we listen? I don't listen to Namibian music. We are, ah. It's like the mindset of our, our, our us as Namibians. It's just like that. But actually we have so much talent, talent here that, that is not being showcased. So for me personally, speaking about the industry is actually a, 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 a very um, fragile topic actually. And a lot of people don't know this, but artists of Namibia, this is an art that we do and most of the people, they are not, they are not appreciating it. Um, they would rather spend uh, 500,000 to come a uh, big celebrity from America or South Africa to perform here while these guys are here. They basically do the same type of music. Maybe the Namibian artist is much better than those artists, but they would rather spend those that amount of money on those people then tell us you must do a charity event you know it's it's a fragile topic actually. recognition do yeah, yeah recognition. do it for recognition basically yeah oh, okay anyway yeah um the namibian music industry uh, i've been doing music for ages now and i've been working with people that that have won awards by now and um like if i have to put it in my own words i would say that the music the, the music industry has really improved a lot the only only problem i see with it is that certain people only support certain certain people like for instance you wouldn't find a a, a white guy listening to a colored guy's music because he can't relate but he doesn't listen to the message behind the music mm -hmm. it's just about i don't bob my head to this so i don't feel this and that's why our musicians are 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 growing weary along the way and that's why you see many people quit many people fail if they could only just just kept on a little longer and maybe just do it for themselves i would believe we would have been yo because there's there's really good artists out there and i believe that we could we could have been somewhere like nigeria south africa we could have been known internationally yeah uh, yeah and for me the namibian music industry is it's a lot of small-minded people if I if I started off like that um, you will see let me say like you said people will spend a lot of money on artists that's not even from our country like let me just make an example maybe like Ray Dillon if if Ray Dillon comes to Namibia they are willing to pay for his flight ticket they are willing to play, pay for his accommodation and they are paying him for his performance and then you have local artists here um, that's maybe having one kick at, at, at a club or so. <clears throat> they are going to tell the guy like, okay, we are going to pay you based on the people that's coming through the door. And at the end of the night, you don't even get paid. So that's, so the motivation for every artist, it falls to the ground. Mm -hmm. Namibian artists don't even have a lot of options. Like, who do you listen to? It's 2022, we are still listening to, to Gaza. We are still listening to Lioness. There's people that's, that's generals in the industry. Like we don't even have that young culture that's coming through um, commercially. We only have underground rappers. Mm -hmm. And I feel like Wolfish Bay, yo, the talent in Wolfish Bay is madness. But the thing is, coming from Wolfish Bay, it's much harder for you as an artist than an artist in Vinduk because there, the resources are there and uh, the studios are there, the people that they have, the funds are there, but but we, the, the Wolfies Bay artists, they just can't get that breakthrough, they just can't cross to the other side, and the other thing is studio time, like we are blessed um, to be with John Ray um, in the studio to create content every single time, we push content every single time, 
and and I guess that's 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 the thing that other artists lack. They have the talent, they have the skill, they have the drive, but they don't have equipment. Mm -hmm. and, and that's something that we want to work on in the future. We know there's Nautilus Studios, we know there's a lot of producers, but mostly they are home studios like the ones that we are in, because it's more affordable, it's more comfortable. So yeah, from my point of view, but I think Namibian music is going, is going to have its breakthrough now. Okay. Any inspiring message to your fans out there? Hmm. <laughs> Never give up. Even when time seems hard. I was at the verge of giving up. And just like that, boom. Irongo called me. Need to do an interview. <laughs> so, it's awesome, man. Actually. And a lot of my people that know me from Facebook, they know that I almost, I was here. I actually gave them a long speech thanking John Ray, thanking Grannies, thanking a lot of artists and told them not to give up. But I told them that I'm finished. And just like that, I cannot be finished. <laughs> so, when it seems that it's time to give up, push harder is when your dreams will come through. Yeah, from my point, just to say something out there. Um, I tried motivation. Motivation, YouTube at 3 a.m., 4 a.m., couldn't sleep, just trying to find some new sounds, do some new things, and I was at the I was at the verge of giving up. But then I structured myself into getting more disciplined, doing something every hour, doing something every day. And I just want to put it out there that discipline will get you much further than motivation does. Yeah, and from my side, it's like other artists, um, they inspire me a lot. Like, I would look at, at what big impact the Brain Man song has and like um, what it did just from coming out like the day it dropped or the, the, the previous day before it dropped he, um, Wardo was talking to me and he was like no I don't want to do music anymore and, but then he dropped Brain Man right after that as his last song and Brain Man instantly it was a hit then I look at John Ray and John Ray was on Mark, Mark Me Famous like yo I'm sitting here on in, in, my, in my living room and I'm watching this guy on TV and I'm like, whoa, I, I really have to, I really have to work harder. And uh, yeah, I get, that's why I say like, these guys are inspiration for me and other artists also that's coming up. It's just more motivation for me to keep pushing, keep, keep trying to be the best that I am. No Thank you so much guys for, for joining in us. There you have it viewers. time for our spot. Spa Kondwana Moon Valley is taking place tomorrow. The inaugural Spa Kondwana Moon Valley Marathon will take place in Swakopmund on 19 March with some of Namibia's top marathon runners taking part. The event is open to all runners who would like to complete compete in a full half marathon or a 10 kilometer race. One of the organizers of the event, Bethel Karumendu, who is the regional sport officer of the Erongo region, said at the launch of the marathon in Ventuk that they appreciate the support from the sponsors as it goes a long way in making sure this event takes place. Francois Lotter from Spa said it is a privilege to be involved in the race. He said COVID-19 hit them hard on a personal and business level, but getting involved in this event brings the excitement back. He further added that Spa has a lot of similarities with Gondwana. We are both proudly Namibian companies and we cater for our clients, locals and tourists who want to put our heads together and give back to the community. We are looking forward to the race, he added. Stay tuned, we'll be right back after this.
Hi there, I'm Rian Smith and this is... And Django. And we're here explaining how to get the most out of your live shows. Today's live tip is breaking the fourth wall. Basically, if you can get up, get around the stage, get off the stage, do anything that's unexpected. You want to go in there and be like, hey, how you doing? How's it going? Everybody home? See that? That's... Is that breaking the fourth wall? It's hard to explain, but like this. Hi. And that's our tip for today. Get off the stage and do something interesting. Do something they won't expect. In Friday's weather report, for Valvas Bay, the sun will set quarter past 7 and will rise 5 minutes past 7 on Saturday. Valvas Bay will experience a maximum of 22 degrees Celsius with a minimum of 17 and a maximum of 24 degrees Celsius predicted for Saturday. A west wind will prevail with a speed of 9 km per hour. For Swakopmund, the sun will set quarter past 7 and will rise 5 minutes past 7 on Saturday. Swakopmund will experience a maximum of 21 degrees Celsius with a minimum of 17 and a maximum of 22 degrees Celsius predicted for Saturday. A west wind will prevail with a speed of 9 km per hour. For Hentis Bay, the sun will set 16 minutes past 7 and will rise 6 minutes past 7 on Saturday. Hentis Bay will experience a maximum of 21 degrees Celsius with a minimum of 17 and a maximum of 22 degrees Celsius predicted for Saturday. A west southwesterly wind will prevail with a speed of 9 km per hour. For Arandas, the sun will set 13 minutes past 7 and will rise 3 minutes past 7 on Saturday. Arandas will experience a maximum of 31 degrees Celsius with a minimum of 20 and a maximum of 33 degrees Celsius predicted for Saturday. A west southwesterly wind will prevail with a speed of 9 km per hour. For Osakos, the sun will set 11 minutes past 7 and will rise 1 minute past 7 on Saturday. Osakos will experience a maximum of 34 degrees Celsius with a minimum of 17 and a maximum of 34 degrees Celsius predicted for Saturday. A south-south easterly wind will prevail with a speed of 9 km per hour. For Karibab, the sun will set 10 minutes past 7 and will rise 7 o'clock on Saturday. Karibab will experience a maximum of 31 degrees Celsius with a minimum of 18 and a maximum of 32 degrees Celsius predicted for Saturday. A south wind will prevail with a speed of 9 km per hour. For Omaruru, the sun will set 9 minutes past 7 and will rise 7 o'clock on Saturday. Omaruru will experience a maximum of 31 degrees Celsius with a minimum of 17 and a maximum of 33 degrees Celsius predicted for Saturday. A southeast wind will prevail with a speed of 9 km per hour. And that was your Friday weather report. Platts Amir is a landmark on the coastline of Namibia, a home to quality shops and quality restaurants, a select variety of fashion and food retailers, as well as banks. Not to mention the pier with 36 luxury apartments and entertainment for the whole family. Find us at corner of Tavorite and Albatross Street, Vineta North, Swakomunda. Call us on 064-462-242. Visit platsamir.com.na or at Platts Amir on Facebook. Platts Amir, enhancing your coastal experience. 
Unfortunately, we've come to the end of our lovely episode for today, but fear not, we'll be with you right next week, starting from Monday. It's Independence Day, but we are still going to be with you. Why? Because we love you guys so much. So if you'd like to read the stories I read today and many other stories, has, don't hesitate to, jo- to go on our website, which is www.erongo.com.na. I repeat, www.erongo.com.na. If you'd like to share some news with us, contact our WhatsApp and Telegram number, which is 011-7040. I repeat, 011-7040. We also have an online TV channel, which is one up to com. I repeat, one up to com. If you'd like to share your news tips with us, we have a brand new email just for that. So please send your news tips to news tips at irongo.com.na. I repeat, news tips at irongo.com.na. And we're also on DSTV, so please grab your remote, press channel 285 for DSTV and channel 94 for Go TV, where you can watch Irongo Talk at 2 o'clock and other NMH shows as well. So from my Myself, it's a goodbye. Please enjoy your weekend. Let's stay safe and we'll chat next time. Bye. It's coming sooner. I